The G chart will help evaluate process stability when tracking rare events. These events might be something like days between accidents or days between wrong site patient surgeries. To run a G chart in the QI macros, just click on the pull down menu, select fill in the blank templates, SPC charts, and G chart. Like any QI macros template, the input areas are in yellow. In the G chart template, we actually input the date that the event occurred and the macro or the template will calculate the days between events for us. Here I'm going to input October 10th, 2007 and you'll notice that it calculates five days from the last event. Again I can input October 25th, 2007 and I get 15 days. If you'd like you can also input data directly into the days between events column and it will graph, but you are overriding the formulas so you won't be able to go back and use the days to calculate those. In addition, between the, in addition to the days between events G chart, there's also a second G chart called the Gunston chart. And the way this chart works is in the yellow input area you either type the word met or missed. If you type met, then the chart will populate with a value of zero. If you type missed, then the first time you type missed you'll get one day. If you type missed again you'll see that uh, the value 2 comes up. If I click on or input it again I get a value of 3 etc. So based on whether I'm saying I've met or missed my criteria um, a value will be calculated and the chart will be populated. And that's how you create a G chart in the QI macros.